Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're doing real well. Today, I'm gonna film a quick review about this two-stroke post hole drilling machine of awesomeness. Now, I've owned this thing for almost exactly two years, probably about 20 months at this point in time. I did pay full price for mine. I bought it at Harbor Freight because I didn't know that you can buy basically the same thing on Amazon for less and then you have it in like two days, but whatever. Anyway, today we got a little bit of hole drill in action, hopefully going on out here. I'm working on building this off-grid solar powered cabin. I decided I want the solar panels in this general area here. At first I was going to mount them on a woodshed, but because of the uh, row of trees there, the sun conditions here, uh, they have to be angled a certain way and uh, putting that on a woodshed would mean the woodshed would have to be placed very strange. So instead I'm just going to, yeah we willing, it drill a hole and drop this railroad tie in it. And then I bought some uh, two by fours and I'll just build a grid and put the solar panels on that angled kind of like this and facing that away. Uh, so I know obviously a railroad tie is a little bit overkill for that, but say it with me boys and girls, it's here, it's paid for and it'll work. So that's what we're gonna use. Now let me tell you guys what this post hole machine is and what it's not. What it's not is something you want to drill a whole bunch of holes with. Uh, they say it's a one person machine and I've run it myself, obviously it's what I'm going to be trying to do today. I can tell you if you have two people it cuts the fatigue on your body not by half but by like 80%. Two guys holding on to this thing, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it will, it, it is a lot of work however. Compared to a three-point tractor mounted auger, this costs less than one quarter as much, so it's definitely the cheap solution. The other thing that's real nice about these, I'd want this even if I had a uh, three-point auger out here, which I don't, because uh, those things are a major pain to hook up. They're very time, energy, and labor intensive to get set up, and then the amount of time it takes to wrestle one of those on the back of the tractor, you could just grab this thing, toss it in the loader bucket like I've done, drill your, you know, half a dozen holes or whatever, and, you know, and, and then the whole thing's just complete and set up. So it's really good for smaller tasks and odd jobs and things like that. Um, yeah, I've been very happy with mine. I will say, I let mine sit for probably about a year exactly in between uses, and I fired it up. I'm, I should have filmed that. That was like two or three days ago. I had three more holes I needed to drill out here, and it fired up great. For a carbureted engine, that's really good, especially for, let's call it what it is, a Chinese mystery meat off-brand thing. You know, like I said, this one, it's the Harbor Freight version, but I think they're pretty much all the same. Now, one final note, I did notice, I was looking around online to make sure you can even still get these things. Uh, you can, you can also get an electric version. That is cool, because then you don't have to worry about the cardboard eater stopping to eat cardboard. You don't have to worry about fuel getting gummed up. Uh, the downside is obviously, you have to be near power. But for a lot of you guys who are homesteading, a lot of the areas that, you know, you're fencing in your garden or whatever, that's within extension cord range of your shop. Or you're like me and you've got a tool trailer with a generator on it. And if I am building a fence or something, generators, uh, it's behind the corner there. But if I'm building a fence or something, I'm just gonna bring the whole tool trailer anyway. So I have the generator, might as well just plug in, it's not a big deal. I obviously have the gas powered one, uh, and that is over one year old gas, by the way. So let's uh, try to get it cranked up. I'll show you guys all there is to this. We flip the ignition switch, choke goes to start. And uh, I got the little squishy deal somewhere. Where even is it on this thing? Where's my squishy deal? Oh, there it is. Give that mm, six pumps. All right, let's try it. All right, I'm gonna let this thing uh, warm up once I get it going for a minute or two. That's something I really try to be good about. It greatly extends the life of equipment. Yep, it's carbureted. Ah, I suck at making YouTube videos. If I planned this, I would have gone, got fresh gas for this. Just turn the choke off, hopefully it'll go. Why are you being belligerent? Of course it ran better the other day.
Now that last video clip that I just stopped a second ago, including getting this machine started and letting it warm up was uh, under six minutes. Woo! So as you can see, you can pound out a lot of holes in a good day with one of these things. And uh, yeah, it's a lot faster and it's, believe it or not, I still think it's easier than using one of those clamshell things. Now, this hole is obviously not as big as the uh, railroad tie. But now that we have a hole to work with, it is a lot easier to just wallow that out with a shovel. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. All right, the digger. As you can see, <laughs> it actually runs pretty well. For what it is, you really can't ask for anything more, especially for the price. Alright, I like it. It's uh, facing the way it needs to be in order to catch optimal sunlight, and that thing is in there. Woo! Alright, looking at this thing, it reminds me of tools from the good old days. Uh, it's just, it's simple, it's surprisingly rugged for what it is, and it gets the job done. So I love it. Now, thinking about this, when I review things, I usually try to make uh, some mention of something that could be an improvement. You got your two fuel lines, fuel in and return, and uh, it would be nice if there was a fuel shutoff valve. So if you're going to order one of these online, you know, through the Amazon link or whatever, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to grab a little fuel shutoff valve. That way you can at least run the carburetor out of fuel, and that's like the number one thing you can do to prevent problems next time you go to use it. Uh, you know, even if you leave gas in the tank or whatever from what I've found. So regardless, yeah, two thumbs up for the little two-stroke that could. And uh, yeah, I got batteries for this. The solar panel should be here in like two days, I think. So, woo, all right. Hey, praise God that went so well. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you.